Hello makeup collection video. Assalamu alaikum lovelies. I'm here finally with my makeup collection video. I'm gonna get straight into it because I have no idea how long this is gonna be. We have a lot to get through. I'm just gonna say before I get started that I want you to expand the description box under this video if you'd like to know more about any of the things I'm gonna be showing you today. So if you wanna know where I've got that from and that from and that from and that from and other bits and bobs, I shall be linking as much as possible in the description box under this video. So without further ado, let us get started. I am gonna actually, wait, back up. I'm gonna try and go through this as clearly as possible. So we're gonna start off over here. We're gonna make our way across, traverse across the dressing table there, then go through this stuff, and then this stuff, and that's it. That should complete the video. So let's come on down to the palettes. I usually sit here and do my makeup, and for me, it's important that everything that I use most frequently is closest to me. It's all gonna to be to hand. So I've got all of my palettes over here. They have really been whittled down, my palettes have, over the course of the past few weeks in particular. If you want to know how I declutter my makeup and how I organize it, I have made a video about it. I will link that video in the description box under this video, so go and watch that if you want to know how I managed to really come down to the basics of the most needed stuff as far as makeup is concerned. So this is my Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. These are all the favorite eyeshadow palettes of mine that I've kept near the front here. So I've got my Tom Ford quads here, my Charlotte Tilbury quad, and then this kind of moves towards the larger eyeshadow palettes that I don't use as frequently, or the face stuff. So I've got my Kat Von D shade and light palette here. This one's really good. I've got my Anastasia. I don't use this too often anymore. Funnily enough, the banana pad, I used to use loads. I don't know if it's dried out or what, but uh, I don't use it too often anymore. As you can see, I was kind of hitting pan there, but I never got to finishing it. I keep it there anyway. And then these are single pan eyeshadows by Makeup Geek and Inglot in there. And then I've got some bigger palettes, my BH Cosmetics, some Morphe eyeshadow palettes at the back there. Let's have a seat, shall we? This is my hijab slash hijab pin box DIY baby. This is kept on my dressing table because this is where I sit and tie my hijab. So it sits just here. Then I've got my brushes. These are all really, again, narrowed down to my most frequently used brushes. Brushes are a thing for me. I have, or had, a lot of brushes. A lot were given away. Some are in storage, but these are my favorite brushes for the time being. Again, these kind of get switched up now and then when I get new brushes. If I go and buy some or if you know any companies send them to me, I try to keep the best brushes, the ones that I find give me the best result because brushes are so important when it comes to makeup out here in front of me. They have to kind of be here on my dressing table and get used. So I've got my face brushes here. These are all the large and small face brushes. These are, so these are more for base. These are more for blush, contour, highlight, things like that. They are sitting in pen pots and these glass vase fillers are from Ikea. They are so useful. On this side, I've got my eyeshadow brushes. So these are my most frequently used eyeshadow brushes in the first pot. And then these are more backup and kind of blending brushes and the sidekicks to these brushes, if you may. So I like to keep everything kind of methodically laid out oh, without breaking my back. So these are the brushes that I would probably use first of all, so do my eye makeup, and then move on to the face brushes here. I like to keep out here in front of me makeup that I'm either keeping for a video, so upcoming videos, or if there's something that I really want to use and try out rather than to kind of pack it away or put it into storage. I like to keep it out in front of me. So sometimes I'll have random makeup bits out here as well, or kind of more to the side or up here. I've got these Too Faced foundations out here because they are pending to be used in a video. Ooh. This is my favorite foundation at the moment. It's the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I use the shade Warm Beige. I keep this out here because, well, why not? It's the foundation that I'm using when I put on my makeup, so I like to just kind of keep it out here rather than to put it away in a drawer. These are all of my oh, our dear concealers. Hashtag squad goals, love, love them. I leave all of these out. This is the one that I use most frequently. I've been playing around with the other colors to see what else I can do with them. So for example, the darkest shade, although these are specifically marketed to be under eye highlighting concealers, so you can see they give that highlighted look under the eye. Oops, sorry camera. I've been playing with the darkest one and using it as a corrector around my mouth. So that's why I sort of keep these to hand to have a nice play with them and you know give you the best feedback. That's my makeup sponge there. This is my Ardea makeup sponge. I keep this out here. It's freshly washed, nice and bouncy. And then this towel, right, let's have a talk about this towel, shall we? <laughs> 
People find it quite weird that I have a towel whenever they come to, in the beginning they did, now they know, and now they've adopted the idea themselves, so I'm gonna share it with you. So I keep a towel out here all the time because my brushes are out, they're not in any kind of case, they are of course susceptible to having dust settle on them. So because I don't wanna be putting dust on my face, I clean my brushes every time I use them. So I give them a rough superficial clean. What I do is I go into this drawer, pull out my brush cleaner, this is where it sits, spray it onto the towel, and then clean my brush prior to using it. Sometimes if I'm wearing very heavily pigmented product or if it's particularly dark, I clean it off again before putting it back into the brush pot. And that for me is imperative. I clean all my brushes prior to using them on my face because I don't wanna risk breakouts and you know, dust is not nice for the skin. I use a fresh side every time I use the towel. So I kind of fold it into quarters. I'll use that side and then that's already been used as you can see. And then what I do is I turn it inside out like that. And as you can see, these have been used. So I'm on the last fresh side. And then I turn it inside out. And as you can see, that's been used as well. And so these last me a couple of days. Sometimes I'll use two sides in one sitting. And this is a little pot where I keep my lash adhesives. These are my lashinary adhesives that I like to keep in here. Up here, I have got my most frequently used slash fave lip stuff. The majority of these are liquid lipsticks because I'm digging them these days and the rest of them are my most frequently worn or loved, you know, regular lipsticks. That's my Tarte one over there, love this colour. This is the Fancy Lip Surgeon's lip colour, beautiful pink. I've got my dark, sleek lip colour, love the dark colours these days. Over here this is, what's it called? I did a blog post on this one actually as well, Mulberry. Or I mentioned it in a blog post and talked to you about my dark lip colour current obsession. Ironically, not wearing dark lips today, but there you go. My Chanel lipsticks, Urban Decay, Tom Ford over here, Charlotte Tilbury, beautiful peachy kind of colour. What's this? This is... Beep! Swear word. Perfect. And then the balm lip colours are at the back here. I have raved about these liquid lipsticks, so these all sit out, ready to be used. And then my Too Faced Melted Lipsticks are sitting here at the front as well. I raved about these, especially last year. Absolutely love them, they come in so handy. One of my favourites is this one. This one is the Melted Sugar, I believe, yes. These are two drawer units that house my blushes and my highlights. Oh, can't wait to get to the highlights. Love that part, always. These are my pink and peach blushes. Next one are my dark blushes, dark and sort of bronzier ones that I like to use as blushes. Then I've got my peachy colors there, and then highlighters. So the top drawer has got more the pinky or colored highlighters, which I use not only as highlighters. So Cindy Luminizer is a really good highlighter, but also sometimes I brush it on the apples of my cheeks as well. So use it as a kind of a blush slash highlighter. These are actually not Makeup Forever highlighters, my lovelies. These are, shall I, shall I not? She hesitates, shall I? Okay, so these are my Our Dear highlighters. Yes, look at how it opened. You have to do that again in slow motion. These are my Our Dear Highlighters. We are developing these currently. Now you know they're amazing. Look, just look at the pigmentation. Can you see? And I mean, if this camera had like a feeling mechanism where you could reach through and feel how soft, they, I mean, look, look how lightly I'm touching it. They are so incredibly, incredibly soft. Very, very similar deliberately in texture. It's how we wanted to keep it to designer, very high-end highlighters. So, for example, I would say they are comparable in texture. This is, by the way, the highlighter drawer for um, more opal or more gold highlighters. So, for example, this was my favorites not too long ago, my Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold highlighter. This is actually not as soft as the Arde ones. I guess they are comparable to this one. Ah, this is the beautiful Becca. Oh, come on. I'm trying to display my skill here. My single-handed compact opening skills. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, I would say they're comparable to this. So can you see how soft this is as well? Well, hopefully you can see. You get some idea, don't you, of how soft or how rough highlighters are. MAC ones, I don't feature these very often, but... They're not actually, don't kind of torture me and kill me, but they're not actually that, can you see? They're not that pigmented. Yeah, you 
kind of getting decent shine there. They're okay, but they don't really play off as well on the skin. At the bottom, this is kind of the transitory drawer. So in here, we've got the kind of eye makeup removey bits over here. I've got cotton pads and Q-tips, and then back here, I'm gonna be moving some of my eye stuff into here to make space for some stuff that I've yet to open in boxes that have come through the post. So here I've got the Balm Cosmetics. These are called Batter Up. These are their new long-wearing eyeshadow sticks, which are absolutely fantastic. These house all of my non eyeshadow makeup stuff. Okay, so at the top here, I've got pigments and glitters. I've got these Barry M Dazzle Dusts. I've got my Arde Glitter. And then I've got, what else? Makeup Geek pigments. A um, bit of NYX at the back there. They're all shimmery party colors. And then I've got my <laughs> eye pencils. I giggled to myself because it took me so long when I was sorting out my makeup to get to the bottom of which eye pencils I wanted to keep because you accumulate so many similar ones and a lot of them manage to get very old as well, which of course you don't want to keep in your collection. So I'm very proud of this right now that they sit in a lovely organized manner in this drawer. Blacks over here leading into the nudes and then white, browns, metallics, greens, blues, purples, blues at the back there. And then these random eyeshadows and pigments are kind of my less frequently used stuff that I've kind of just put into the back there. I don't use it as often as I do my other eye products. And then at the bottom, I love this drawer. This drawer is the eyeshadow base drawer. This is the drawer that I love because it transformed my eyeshadow game. Yes, you need a good eyeshadow base in order for your eyeshadow to truly look spectacular or for your blending work to pay off. You want a good color on your eyelids. Like I said, especially if your eyelids are pigmented, it took me a while to figure that out. So here I am giving that knowledge to you. Next door neighbor is lip pencils. At the top there, I've got the nudes and the peaches. Then I've got my pinks and reds. And then I've got the deeper and more vibrant colors at the bottom. Okay, now we're on to these two drawers. These two have got more the, how can we say, the tools or the accessories to make up. I've got my Lashinary Lashes here. What's this? Oh, intertwined. I didn't read it properly. They look different. These are the newer lines that I released sitting here. The winged, flicker, flicker, flutter, fluffy, more flutter, more flicker, flicker at the back there. And then the ones at the back are my original lines. So I've got all my lashes here ready to go. I also keep some lashes in these clear. These are crafts boxes, I believe. I got this from Amazon or eBay. You can find them everywhere. If I'm traveling, it's obviously very space efficient to take one of these rather than to have lots of these boxes. So I like to keep these boxes to hand. This is, oh, a secret idea palette that I shan't show you much of my Body Shop Cream, some eye makeup remover, brush cleaner. These are plastic covers that were originally made with my Lashinary Lashes. I pump out my foundation onto these as opposed to the back of my hand and put that to use. Random backup brush and what's it? A sharpener and sponges and bits, tweezers and scissors. And then at the bottom, this is where I store my hand towels, the ones that I use to clean my brushes. So I've got my stash in here. When they come out of the laundry, I just fold them and put them into here. I've got baby wipes to wipe makeup. And then my stash of cotton pads there. I empty them into here periodically. I've got castor oil in here, which I often use as part of my skincare, or my makeup remover rather. Some matches for the candles that I light. Uh, what's this? Cleansing water by Kiko. Some moisture spray. And I've got these snap tats on the side here. We're almost done. Are we done? No, we're not. Okay, so in here I have got my Tom Ford eyeliner pen. Love this. This was in my Best of Beauty video that I did at the end of last year. I have since convinced like two friends and my sister to buy one of these for themselves. You will not regret it. Such a good eyeliner pen. I've also got in here eyelash curler, my Arde contour sculpt stick, got mascara in here. And then I'll talk about those in a second. So we developed these as contour colors, right? This one, of course, looks very much like a contour color. This one we developed as a contour color for lighter skin shades. So this one was for the warmer ones. This one was for the lighter ones. However, I found that I absolutely 
love the effect of this one sort of as a bronzer so I brush this around the perimeter of my face a little bit onto my cheeks as well almost like a blush oh my goodness it is so flattering foundation powder in here sometimes I use this to clean up the makeup and then I've got moving on all of my lip stuff or the rest of it anyway so these are all the solid lipsticks this basket has probably seen the biggest transformation because I had so many others I had an extra basket back there and I just really streamlined all of my lipsticks down to my faves and I've got what are you doing that lipstick belongs in there these are all lip glosses these are all liquid lipsticks and these are all pencil lipsticks now at the back there whew, let me sit down these are all the products that I used to use so you can see that they're, they're not easy to reach as well and that's deliberate because they're kind of like archived things they're base products that I used to use that I was playing with experimenting with before I discovered these these unfortunately have now gone into my backup drawer except for this this is actually still quite good so I, I kind of keep this closest to me the Kat Von D liquid locket tattoo foundation rather the foundations are in here so not very many and then these two baskets I don't know how well you can tell you can see are filled with concealers these are all the concealers uh, under eye brighteners that I was playing with, that I used to kind of switch up in my makeup when I was searching for my perfect concealer. So you can see in here, that's a Bobbi Brown corrector back there. Concealer's in here, and then I've got these random, uh, these are, hold on, these are sticks for my lashonary display thing that's over here. This back in there, oh, those two, that's not extra makeup stash, by the way. Those are giveaway uh, baskets that I've got for friends. Sometimes when I have a clean out or a big declutter of makeup, I'll ask friends what they want and anything that I haven't used very often or that's practically new, I give away. So that's it, we covered everything. I think we have, that's it. Let's back up and bid farewell to my makeup collection. That's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment below and let me know which of my makeup bits you liked the most or what you have. I will be leaving on this screen here right now two other video options. Click on one of them if you'd like to watch some more Amina and I shall catch you very soon in my next video. Take care. Doodles. <laughs>